Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Mercel Guapo, man. Street Certified News. We back with another one. Man, hey, first off, man, like I said, again, hey, we, we probably gonna do this every video because, um, you know, we, we do recognize, you know, how you guys been rocking with us. Uh, you guys been running up the channel. Like I said, all we could really do is do our best to drop like the best videos we can get y'all the best content you know what i'm saying real street content uh with reputable sources and you guys are the ones that run it up so we definitely want to shout you guys out man running up the channel we're almost to 20k uh hey man we just gonna keep going and going like i said giving y'all the best shit we can this week man this video we really wanted to break down uh what happened with the boy zell mana um, when you read the Charles Liggins proffer, the government does put, you know, Ezell Rawls name in the paperwork. We're going to get into, you know, what they say about him and how potentially uh, the case could have affected, you know, what happened to him or, you know, there's a lot of rumors going on. And that's why in researching, you know, this case, he was another name that popped up like, man, let's let's do something where we look in the bro and what really happened with bro the facts because it's a lot of rumors man so how people say the o block five and then you add in tz that's o block six well then this man uh ezel rawls who was not indicted uh because sadly he passed a few weeks before the indictment came down but the feds are basically saying that you know this is number seven who was in the car as well as allegedly one of the shooters of FBG Duck, man. So we gonna get right into it, man. Um, this week's story on the boy Ezel Rawls, AKA Zell Money, man. What really happened to bro? Let's get right into it. Ezel Alexander Rawls, AKA Zell Money, was born July 9th, 2002 in Chicago, Illinois. Growing up in the Parkway Gardens apartment complex, Zell would come up under his older cousins, T-Roy, HK, and Slutty all men who have since passed away. Also being close with o Block members like Buck Mana, also his cousin, DQ, and Los, aka to Carlos Alford, Zell would be born into the GDBD gang war of the 2010s. As a young kid, Zell was mostly left out of the gang warfare and allowed to live a normal childhood, as normal as a childhood could be living in o Block. However, as he grew to become a young teenager, and with the rise of King Von from Oblock and FBG Duck from Tukaville, and with the deaths of his cousins, his Oblock family connections would be a foundation for a young Ezell Rawls to dive headfirst into the streets. Yeah, man, so, you know, in researching the dude Zell, man, it looked like, you know, bro was born and raised in O Block, man. You know, it's a lot of pictures of him with different O Block members as a shorty. Um, but it also kind of looked like, you know, I guess probably due to his family already being so deep in that gang war, man, they kind of left bro out. Uh, also around the time, you know, bro got into the streets, man. Uh, he really dove head first. Um, and to be honest, man, I did see some little stuff, you know what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people, you know, his name was Zell, Zell Money, but also, man, I seen people calling the dude like Lil Walk Down. That really speaks to how bro was out here, you know what I'm saying, doing his shit once he got in the streets, man. That, you know, bro was really out here with it, you know what I'm saying? And, and he did start to build a street reputation, uh, you know, due to, you know, how active bro work really was. On August 4th, 2020, a 18 year old Zell Munner would allegedly be part of the group of seven men who within 15 minutes of learning rapper FBG Duck's location would execute a brazen daytime shootout in Chicago's Gold Coast hitting the rapper 16 times and leaving him for dead in front of hundreds of witnesses. The FBI alleges that Zell Munner would be one of the men who ran to Carlos Offers Ford Fusion while parked in Parkway Gardens and would be a passenger in the backseat of the vehicle as it sped towards downtown Chicago. In the Ligon's paperwork, the feds allege that surveillance footage, not yet released, shows Zell Munna exit the vehicle once it made it to Oak Street and fire multiple shots in the direction of FBG Duck before returning to the vehicle. The FBI then alleges Zell was one of the men picked up by Offer's child's mother at that suburban car dealership. Though the FBI makes these claims in the Ligon's paperwork, Zell Munna would never be charged with the murder of FBG Duck. 
weeks, like literally weeks before the Fizz would come down with their indictment on the O Block 5. Um, Zell Mana, aka Zell Rawls, uh, would sadly uh, take his own life. Now, uh, there's a few different theories as to why uh, he took his own um, and we'll just speak on the first one, which is that, uh, you know, there were a lot of internet trolls and, and different people around the time of FBG Doug's murder who were literally doing the police work for him. Um, they were connecting license plates to different people living in Oak Block. They were, you know, trolling suspected uh, people that were involved in the murder. They were trolling them on live, trolling them on social media. Um, and the boy Ezel, uh, he was part of that. Uh, there were people who made fake pages that looked like it was him and they would comment crazy stuff about guns and duck and you know it was a lot of that going on um and some people believe that maybe that pressure uh got to him or maybe the police got to him before they came with the indictment we gonna let y'all know man that's that's not true man street certified news we're gonna report that that is 100 not true uh you know the fbi in the paperwork puts bro's name they say that he was one of the suspects and in the footer notes of the ligands paperwork they also speak on him not being arrested only due to his death if zell would have been alive you know two three weeks later um he would have been charged with fbg does murder too man so you know all those trolls out there that speaking like oh man zell probably snitched and then absolutely not true and the fbi shows it in the paperwork uh where they they speak about him as a deceased suspect they don't speak about him as somebody who offered paperwork or offer you know witness statements or cooperation um if he would have did that they would have put it in the paperwork like hey before he died he did this it wouldn't have been no problem speaking on no dead person the, the feds don't care if you're a rat if you did because then they don't got to protect you also you know it was people that was speaking about uh zell maybe dying off of fake perks um that's also just a rumor um it, it may be true that uh when they did the toxicology report on him they found you know perks or, or different type of drugs or fentanyl they found probably some of that stuff in the system but also when you read the police reports they consider this a suicide and i mean unless dude took like 20 pills uh then i i don't see how taking a fake perk or dying off a fake perk would be considered a suicide in the actual police records like it's one thing for the streets to say oh yeah man dude took a whole bunch of pills but the police would have just been like accidental overdose um we're not going to speak on exactly how we believe he you know ended his own but in the police reports it says suicide uh the original reports were suicide and then later down the line people came out with this oh man he was off the fake perks off the fake perks so yeah we just gonna uh let y'all know that uh that you know bro died from a suicide and if you die from fake perk uh, that's not a suicide in the year following the death of fbg duck young zelmana's life would seemingly take a turn for the good him and his new girlfriend would announce the coming of a new baby and Zell would even share pics of him and the girlfriend's gender reveal celebration on social media. Sadly, only a few months afterwards, Zell would find out the woman he thought was his girlfriend was also seeing another man, and DNA tests had confirmed the new baby wasn't his. On August 24th, 2021, Ezell Rawls would post his final message to Facebook, seemingly alluding to his mental state following learning the news of his girlfriend's infidelity. In the months after the suicide of Zell Munna, his now ex-girlfriend would give birth and by Christmas would be fully embracing her new family and spreads of holiday pictures. Likely, this scene is exactly what Zell Munna never wanted to see. Yo, man, appreciate y'all for being with us, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? We want to say for people that's dealing with uh, mental health, uh, issues man um life is very long man and you would think that you was at the worst point and you can never bounce back and trust me man like a year is a long time 365 days is a long time you would be surprised how your life 
could bounce back or change or you could get up from being literally at your worst point um you know uh taking one's own life is something that you know even though we're speaking on it on this video it's only due to you know the documentary type of purposes of explaining what happened to the dude zelmana um we also wanted to clear up the rumors about you know him maybe having cooperated which like again we're saying he did not cooperate the reports are that zelmana took his own uh, once he found out that, you know, his new girlfriend, you know, he'd been on social media, he'd been taking pictures with her, he'd been rubbing on the belly, and, you know, he found out that his girlfriend, who was also a semi-known person in, in those circles, man, he found out, you know, her baby was with another dude, it was an extreme embarrassment to him, he probably was very much in love with this girl, um, it seemed that he was happy about the baby, so not only was it the loss of you know potential fatherhood for him it was the also the loss of his relationship you know buddy had lost hella cousins now he's kind of gonna be embarrassing other people know about this they saw the pictures they saw the gender reveal and i think bro was just you know he didn't know where to go i don't think he saw how things maybe could bounce back from this maybe he did feel the looming indictments coming um Again, like I said, he didn't cooperate, but maybe that also kind of went with it. Man, and sadly, man, the dude Zell Munna, man, took his life, man. So, you know, that's what happened to Zell Munna. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. bro, man, uh, condolences to his family. And like I said, you know, anybody who's considering um, suicide or anybody having mental health issues, man, we gonna put, you know what I'm saying, the suicide hotline, we gonna put all that stuff down at the bottom right here. Um, at the end of the video, man, like I said, man, it's so much money to get. It's so many different girls out here. It's so much going on, man. Like, it's so much opportunity out here, man. You got a better chance of just laying low, bouncing back, and getting right back to it, man. It's, it's so much going on. So we just wanted to say that to the young dudes, man. Trust me, bro. I, I done been down. I done been up. I done been back down, back up. <laughs> Don't believe your current situation is your final situation, man. It's always room for improvement. And it's always, it's almost no place better than the bottom. Like from a real street dude, it's almost no place better than the bottom because then you know it can't get worse and it can only go up. Now you can really get on your grind. So like I said, man, condolences to bro family, man. RP to boy Zell Money, man. It's your boy MX El Guapo, man. Street Certified News. Most reputable source for urban media, man. We appreciate y'all for rocking with us, man. Smack that like, smack that subscribe, man. Everybody stay blessed, man. We love y'all. We out.